Did you know that your spouse can either make you fail or succeed in life? The person whom you marry or the person whom you are dating matters a lot. They end up affecting your life. They end up affecting your destiny. Every person born on, uh, of a woman, every, every human being has a star. There are some people, their stars are shining. And there are some people, their stars have been stolen and they have been exchanged by bad fortunes. They have been exchanged by evil things. So if, I, if, you, if you hang around that person, calamity will always be falling. That's why you find that some people, the moment they marry, things begin to flourish. But there are some, the moment they enter into marriage, things begin to crumble. Now, this is, this is a result of the person whom you marry. Now, it doesn't mean that the individual is a bad person. No, the individual might be a good person, might be very sweet, very understanding, very beautiful. But now, if something has happened to their star, if something has happened to their destiny, it will end up corrupting their lives and it will, it will dictate what happens around them. So it is very careful. When you are choosing a spouse, you need to be led by God to know whom you are married because marriage affects destiny. The Bible says, and the man shall leave his father and his mother, the two shall become one. So that means whatever thing that woman carries, whatever thing that man, man carries, you know, they come and join it together. So if you marry somebody who has a lot of a lot of misfortunes, you'll find your life will be full of misfortunes. So pe the person whom you marry matters a lot. I just explained in my previous video that association affects destiny. Association affects your star. So guys, watch this video till the end. Hello guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cleofa Sonyama, Cleo with him. And this is Christian Media, where we bring you news commentaries, Bible-based teachings, gospel music, plus many more. And if you want to donate to this ministry to support us financially, use the information on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Yes, you need to be very careful with whom you are married. That's what you find in those days, in our African traditional settings, parents will go and do a research of the person whom their son or daughter is going to marry. They, they, usually, they usually did a family background check to know where they, they come from, their character, their traits, and so many things, so that they can know what, what their daughters or their son they're getting into. So, marriage can either make you or break you. The Bible says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. You know, sometimes you may find a knife mistaking it by a wife to a wife. So get a wife, not a knife. I know many people whose destinies took off, changed level because they married the right person. And I know others whose destiny went down because the, they married the wrong person. Now, this has nothing to do with the education background. This has nothing to do with their beauty. It has nothing to do with their appearance. It has nothing to do with their tribe. It has everything to do with what they carry. You know, what, what you carry on your head spiritually is what affects the, the happenings around you. So, when you marry somebody whose background or who have altars, they have altars in their, in their, you know, in their sister home, which they have not been dealt with, which they have not overcome them. That battle will be passed on to you and to your children. This way, finds things like generational curses and and what have you. So this is why it's important. You be very careful. Let the Holy Spirit lead you into whom you are marrying. And if necessary, it is important for couples to go through sessions of deliverance before you end up the person. It, it's better to go for deliverance so that you know. You know, this is sometimes there are a group of Christians who like to ignore these things. They say that if you're in Christ Jesus, you are a new creation, all things are passed away, you ignore. But the moment you get into marriage, reality begins to hate you. 
and you find that things are not like they you know they're expected to be. So this is why it is necessary when you are you want to look for spouse, you need to be very and very and highly spiritual. It needs somebody who has a lot of spiritual maturity to choose a spouse. To choose a spouse so that you can know what we're getting into. Now, as marriage association affects you so much. You can either be, you know, you can either, you know, the star of your wife can boost you. All this, all the star of your wife can bring you down. The star of your husband can boost you. All the star of your husband can bring you down. For instance, if you are a businessman, me, I, I know businessmen who, especially Muslims, and um, if if um, I'd be I'll be specific, I know like uh, Arabs, you know, they marry many women. They're allowed to marry many women. Arabs, they marry women, most of them, especially the businessmen, they marry women based on their stars. So if he wants his business to go to the next level and he will look for a woman who has a good star, they marry that woman. Then provide everything for that woman. That woman may think that they are being loved, but their husband is using their star to boost their business. This is what business, some of the, these are some of the secret streets some businessmen will, won't tell you. They are businessmen who are using the stars of their wife to take their business to the next level. It does happen a lot. So also, young girls need to be very careful. You know, nowadays, young girls, they, have, they are so ambitious. They want a flashy lifestyle. They want to be on a yacht. They want to be in the, the jacuzzi. They want to go to Dubai. They want to go to, you know, to... All these places for for enjoyment, and now they have to they have to hook up with an old rich guy who can be able to cut up for those expenses. Now, some of these guys, some of these guys whom you go to, not all of them. Some of them are are ritualists, and ritualists they usually look for stars. Some of some of our girls they have sold their souls to the devil, not a written animal. By going to the devil and say, hey, devil, I'm selling my soul. No. You know, when you date such a person, when you date a ritualist, you will give you everything which you want. And that ritualist is going to take your destiny. And they will not only take your destiny, they will take your destiny. And they take even the destiny of your unborn children. That's why you find a lady, you can date a rich guy, can buy you a mansion, can buy you a car, can buy you everything which you want. Travel all over the world, but you'll have no sense of destiny. He'll give you everything, but you'll have stolen your destiny. He's giving you all those things because he's paying you for the destiny, for for uh, for the star which has stolen from you. And if if you don't know, the star which has stolen from you is bringing him more money than the money which he's giving you. So also a relationship. This uh, romantic relationship, it matters. Some of, most of the ladies have gotten their stars stolen by these men. And then after the relationship is over, you want to settle down, you can't get married. You can't have kids. And even if you have kids, your kids will be just useless on drugs and everything because that guy has killed and bought your destiny. You sold your soul. That's why Jesus said that what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? You sold your soul, he bought it. Now you, you feel that your life is empty. You might have a good house. You might have that's why that's why I say not every rich person is maybe is walking in his destiny. You can be very rich, but you are outside the will of God. It's not necessary that if you're rich, you have a, a private jet, then you're walking the will of God. You can be very rich, but you're walking outside, outside the will of God. So very important, you need to knock this thing very, very well. 
your spouse, the guy whom you are dating, the guy whom you are sleeping with, can either make you successful or a failure in life. It, it, it determines with the back with their spiritual background and their the altars which control their destinies. So guys, it's very you need to be life is spiritual, you need to be spiritual. Don't don't do things without spiritual understanding. So guys, I hope you have understood. And if you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me. See you in the next video. Thank you.